Terrorists overseas and the potential threat here. The U.S. government is warning police agencies all across the country, be vigilant in guarding against ISIS. Right now, President Obama is weighing his options on how to deal with those militants. And the airstrikes in Iraq already underway may not be enough. Our John Keller joins us now with more. John? Lisa, Jack, we want to stress that FBI Department of Homeland Security warning says there is no specific known threat to the U.S. at this point. But from the highest levels of government, a clear message. The potential for attack is very real. Uh, this is the biggest threat I've seen uh, since 9-11, quite frankly. From WBZ that, uh, security uh, analyst Ed Davis. Oh, this is beyond anything that, that we've seen, so we must pre prepare for, for everything. To and, Secretary uh, of Defense Chuck that, Hagel, is there is agreement that the murder of journalist James Foley is just the start of a disturbing escalation of our battle with ISIS. You're going to see uh, blowback, and that blowback is going to happen on the part of people that are well-prepared, well-financed, and able to execute. But they've sacked several banks that have given them hundreds of millions of dollars. And so when you see an organization that's, that's this well grounded in tactics, also having the ability financially to move those plans forward, uh, it's a very troubling time. The top Republican on the Senate Armed Services Committee says the domestic threat is very real. They are rapidly developing a method of blowing up a major U.S. city, and people just can't believe that's happening. So what are we going to do about it? The president hasn't uh, you know, been uh, presented with uh, specific military options uh, outside of those that are um, uh, carrying out the current missions in Iraq. But this local congressman says the president's options may be limited. I think there's some support for engagement. I, I, I do not believe there is support for U.S. boots on the ground, and I share that, that, that concern. Now, Congressman Lynch says he wants to see the 900,000 Iraqi troops we spent $24 billion to train, shouldering the burden of any ground war with ISIS. In the meantime, some are suggesting that ISIS sleeper cells may already be in our country, although there's no proof of that. So, Lisa, vigilance is what the authorities are recommending for now. It is a terrifying thought, though. John, thank you.